Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I had the idea for this opinion piece after watching another YouTuber and I've linked their video in the description below. One, credit where credit's due and two, it's a brilliant guide, you should watch it. Where they were talking about the smoke grenade and as much as I agreed with every point they made, I disagreed with the overall conclusion and I personally think the EMP is the best grenade in the game and the one you should have in your pocket. Now the main reason why, and for my arguments to hold any kind of water, is because I believe the most important thing to do is to stop vehicles. If you don't, as you're seeing here, be it anti-air or a tank rolling in an objective, a vehicle left unchecked will absolutely shred your team and really reduce your chance of winning the match. If you're playing on Breakthrough, then I think smoke grenades are good. If you watch my Breakthrough video with Pike, you'll see that's the one I use. But when you're playing Conquest, EMP is the way to go, and I hope to convince you in this video. All right, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Okay, just for anyone who's never used one before, vanilla example. You throw it, it detonates, all weapons are disabled. You can see they're aiming at me, trying to shoot me, but no good. It won't stop the vehicle moving, so you've got to run in quickly, plant your C5 or use your explosive of choice, and then get out of there. You can see here from the vehicle user's point of view, the gun jams, and in this case, I can't use my cooldowns in time to protect myself from the incoming missiles. You can also use it against equipment like Boris's turret if you want to, but I think that's a bit of a waste. I'd reserve it for vehicles. So with such a limited use case, however important taking out vehicles are, why do I think they're so great? Well, take a look at a couple of gameplay examples here, and let's build this up slowly. Here I'm playing Wingman, we're outnumbered two to one. You can see we're on half health and our opponent is practically unscratched. I can leap out of the vehicle, pop an EMP grenade, disable their weapons to protect my friends, stop them repairing, chase them down on foot, and get the killing blow. Here's another example, we're cruising along in a map and we bump into a tank, it's attacking our friends and it's gonna turn on us. I'm able to jump out, EMP it, everybody can see it and you'll see that we're all piling into it doing damage. The tank cannot defend or repair itself and we take it out and that's in no small part due to the EMP grenade. Now think back to the opening where I was showing you a tank rolling in and completely dominating a checkpoint. Imagine someone had done this thrown an EMP, disabled my weapons, I'm trying to shoot them but I can't. They throw a second EMP to give themselves an additional six seconds to finish me off. All my team's piling in with their explosives and instead of capturing the checkpoint, lost it. Here's a really pure example, two identical vehicles except for the primary weapons which favors the opposition in this case. I'm able to jump out, hit it with an EMP, and all the vehicle can do is just sit there and take damage. Remember, had I popped smoke, as you're seeing in the top left, you can still shoot through smoke. Smoke does not protect you, and the vehicle will know where you are. It's the EMP grenade that won that fight. I've got a million examples, but last one from me. Here's me taking on a railgun on the back lines. The secondary crew sees me. I'm pinned. I throw the EMP grenade, disable their weapon. There you go. That gives me the time to run up and throw a second. Now, had I used a smoke grenade, I wouldn't see which way the vehicle was going and the gun would still be working. In this case, I get up, I plant them, boom. Now, why is smoke a problem? Well, here's the thing. When you use it to kill vehicles, it can be a bit confusing. I actually put C5 on the wrong thing there. I managed to correct the problem. Uh, yeah, I died. That's a moot point. Taking out the vehicle is important. But I got really disoriented. And here's another example. I'm running into somebody else's smoke. I know there's a tank in here, I'm trying to hunt it. Thankfully, I see it before it saw me, and I'm able to take it out, but you have to remember, smoke cuts both ways. It can block your team as much as anybody else's, and just finally, there are specialists whose specific role is to actually see through smoke and other obstacles, and smoke will do nothing to protect you from them. They'll still get in there and rip you up, and if you use a smoke grenade for cover, etc., again, we'll see you and we'll take you out. The last reason why I think you should take the EMP is because it's loads of fun. Now take this me versus Ram, not very great odds. I hit them with the EMP, they shoot back at me, so we clearly see each other. Had I thrown a smoke, I'm sure they would have um, driven away. Um, but they decided to wait out the clock. Bad decision, yeah, I'm dead. But hey, I took out a person and the Ram, so I win. Here's another example where... Um, I'm going after a railgun on the back line and I run unexpectedly into a wildcat. Now the EMP grenade lets me defend myself. And yeah, a smoke grenade could have done that too. I could have blinded it and run away. But uh, here's the great thing. He knows I'm now hunting it and um, they have to worry about me. So now they're not looking up in the sky. Now they're trying to defend themselves. 
and you're gonna see some great ninja skills here. I have no idea how I dodged that. But anyway, the point is the EMP distracted them. It let me defend myself. I could have run away. I'm an idiot. I didn't. Oh, look, the uh, railgun also got gifted to me, blown out. Um, it's really effective. And legend even has it that if you use them enough, you may even find the magic EMP grenade. Anyway, I think I've said and proven everything I wanted to prove about this, so over to you. What do you think? Have I convinced you of my case? I think the EMP is what you should have in your pocket because you can flip fights, you can do the most important thing in this game, which is take out enemy vehicles. Every, every win flows from that, and it's also a massive amount of fun. Did I convince you? Go check out the smoke grenade video as well that I linked. You tell me, which one do you think you should go with? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one.